best things in life are free. But you know what I want. Hey there, thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So what are we looking at today? I mean, check out this market cap, $161.5 billion. I mean, this market cap is greater than it's ever been before. I mean, nobody could have ever predicted the kind of growth we've seen in cryptocurrency over the last two years. I mean, the market cap two years ago was what, $10 billion? And now we're looking at $161.5 billion. I mean, that's amazing. I mean, it definitely goes to show that this stuff is moving into the future and going to be our new digital money here. I mean, sooner rather than later, right? Uh, we got 5.3 billion traded in the last 24 hours. And I mean, that's great. I mean, that's where we've been looking at is about the $5 billion moving around every single day. And I mean, that that's, that's only going to be growing into more and more as these networks become more stable, can handle the capacity, and society starts adopting this cryptocurrency and using it in an everyday means. Uh, we got BTC dominance still hanging out at 45%. So I mean, that's nothing to really complain about considering how many cryptocurrencies are out there and how much this stuff is growing up and down in value you know still still being real close there to 50 percent value is absolutely fantastic uh personally i do believe that as we continue to add second tier chains to bitcoin uh you know a lot of these other altcoin technologies will be brought to bitcoin giving less purpose to them and hopefully bringing ultimate you know, dominancy of btc up and over the 50 percent mark uh whether or not this is actually going to happen you know only time can tell and i can just cross my fingers because i'm one person with my own beliefs and i know you guys have your own so as we move on we look at btc price at four thousand three hundred and ninety five dollars it's up 1.9 percent i mean that's absolutely fantastic we're still sitting here right below the all-time highs that were around i think four thousand four hundred twenty thirty depending on which exchange you were looking at um you know, and I'm sure that BTC is going to be breaking the all-time price here. Before you know it, we just seen the market cap break. So I mean, you know, it's only a matter of time. We'll be looking at a five thousand or a five K BTC. Uh, we got Ethereum coming in at three hundred and fifty-nine dollars. That's a five point one percent. I mean, you know, with the market cap, the size of Ethereum, seeing a five point one percent increase is is absolutely fantastic. Uh, you know, when you start having this kind of money, it's harder and harder to grow it in such leaps and bounds. But I mean, cryptocurrency finds a way, right? Uh, so we got BTC coming, or we got BCH coming in at $585. Looks like we took a 3.4% slide back. We're definitely under the $600 mark. Um, you know, whether or not this is the beginning of a downward trend for Bitcoin Cash, I don't know. Or if this is just a momentary, you know, dip before it pumps again. Only time tells with these things in the market. Uh, looks like Ripple. Here we go. Some big gains today. We're up 10.2% coming in at 21.8 cents. Uh, you know, this is fantastic for Ripple. They had taken a slide back the other day. Uh, actually, I think they had two consecutive days of a slide back. And now here we are looking at some gains. Uh, you know, this is fantastic for anybody who bought in recently. They're definitely looking at some, some profits here. Uh, here we go with Light. Bitcoin making some sideways movement coming in at 62.22. Uh, this is still great on the other side of $60, still holding value, which is way above our safe zone of 50 bucks. And definitely, hopefully, moving onwards towards that $100, keeping these fingers crossed as always. Uh, it's a lot easier making money this way than out there working for it, right? Uh, we got Dash coming coming in at $358. This is some sideways movement at that, and that's absolutely fine. I'd like to see some stability setting in here at $358 before we start climbing up towards $400. And I mean, that's fantastic, right? Stability, that's what we need here with a lot of these cryptocurrencies. We got NEM coming in at $0.28.3. Cents. That's more sideways movement there. Uh, we got Monero at, taking a little bit of a slide back down 7.8%, coming in at $135.79. Uh, you know, we had just seen them open up on BitHum, uh, the South Korean exchange which has been pumping a lot of the coins recently. And now that we're looking at a little bit of a slide back, this was a little bit to be expected that the pump was, you know, with the knowing that it was coming to the exchange, now that it's come to the exchange, it started sliding back a little bit. So uh, you never know, the next pump could be just right around the corner though. Uh, we got Ethereum Classic coming in at $15.86. That's uh, up 0.6%, so up a percent. That's really just some sideways movement. Like I keep saying, Ethereum Classic's been struggling lately, but you never know, they could break out here before you know it with some good news coming around the corner. Uh, we got Zcash coming in at $269. That's up 2.3%, some small gains there. Uh, there we go, we got Steam still making that money a hundred or one dollar and fifty two cents uh up six point eight percent so there we go that's not bad and steam back dollar is down 0.7 so that's not really that much to be concerned with hanging out at 95 cents uh you know telling me the old coins are doing kind of all right at the moment and there's not a big mass exit into bitcoin or ethereum or anything like that uh, so what are we looking at today for news? Uh, well, it seems like news is a little scarce today. Uh, we're looking at a lot of information coming out of Mexico about how that um, you know right now they really don't have much regulation on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. 
they're looking at look or they're we're hearing word out of there saying that they want to start trying to treat it as a commodity uh, instead of a currency. Uh, they're saying they're citing the same old standard reasons of you know the privacy that there's nothing backing it and all of these things saying that that makes it more of a commodity and i mean that's absolutely fine to consider it a commodity down there in mexico um you know they, they start to get more rights along with these commodities it's pretty much how it's considered here in the united states and a lot of a lot of other countries as well um next up i got that russia uh, they're making moves they're making big moves on mining um you know they have the power companies over there in talks with local miners seeing about purchasing you know some excess electricity that's being produced from the plant plans at a discount so that they can use the power for mining to hopefully be more profitable. Uh, we heard not that long ago that the president out of Russia was trying to raise uh, something like $110 million to start creating more Bitcoin mining farms uh, to hopefully take some control away from China. So, I mean, you know, and then R Russia's moving forward. I mean, they were looking at illegal or le legalizing the ICOs. So, I mean, Russia is definitely moving towards a way of embracing cryptocurrency, um, seeing if they can't become one of the more major players in it. Uh, so, I mean, only time's going to tell with this. But as we sit around and we say, oh, uh, what's happening in China and thinking and looking towards China for everything that's happening with cryptocurrency, uh, hopefully some of this power will be diminished from China and pushed over towards Russia. So us here in America will be sitting there saying, what's the Russians doing and what are the Chinese doing when it comes to this cryptocurrency stuff uh, it nice to, it'd be nice to hear the Russians pumping a coin for once right um, so as we continue on here with Bitcoin and coffee um, I'd like to take a moment about everything that's happening in Houston Texas um, you know being here in Florida I've been through a few hurricanes and you know they're no joke uh, mother nature doesn't mess around and it is very scary when it happens uh, I have evacuated Florida before because of a hurricane for concern for myself and my family um, and the people out there in Texas that are going through the this this terrible event and all of this flooding uh, you know it is unsafe and my heart goes out to them and so do my prayers um, I've seen that Box Mining has a donational address underneath his, uh, you know, uh, video for the day. So if you're, you know, if you have extra cryptocurrency and you're out there and you're trying to help the people out there in Texas, uh, you know, head over there. I'm going to see if I can add that link down here below my video as well to see if you can't help the people out in Texas. Uh, you know, my heart does go out for them and so do my prayers. Um, so as always, uh, I'm doing everything I can for you out here. Bitcoin and coffee, totally unfunded as a hobby, but I love doing this for you guys. So I have all sorts of tools and links down here below to help you guys navigate these cryptocurrency markets, um, help you figure out what's going on out there with the networks, uh, help you build better Steam posts. As I keep saying, Steam is a wonderful platform that's constantly growing and getting better. I mean, yes, it does have its problems, but we are definitely still in our beta version. Uh, hopefully this will be able to take over Twitter. Twitter and Facebook and Snapchat and all of that before you know it. And uh, content creators will start being able to get the money that they deserve. So while you're over there collecting that free cryptocurrency, please upvote my post. It's one of the best things you can do to help me out. Uh, if you're not really on Steam and are doing into that kind of thing, uh, I have cryptocurrency addresses if you got that extra crypto laying around. And if you're not in that, I have Amazon affiliation codes. If you're out there but going to buy anything from Amazon, a little kickback helps, you know, here and there trying to keep this going because, you know, this is all on me. So I appreciate everything you've done for me. I appreciate everything that's going on out there. I mean, you guys are the best out there for, you know, keeping me in contact and letting me know what's going on. And remember, there's my free help desk service at Eugene force two zero at gmail.com i love receiving these emails from you guys i love trying to help you guys figure out what's going on in the cryptocurrency community and help you guys avoid these scams because you know that's the biggest deal in bringing people down is you get scammed once or twice and then you think i just want to get out of this stuff because it's you know above my ability to comprehend and understand so we're definitely trying to avoid that around here so as always you guys keep your btc safe